Of all the ways to create drums in GarageBand, the beat sequencer is perhaps the coolest and definitely the most complex. So in this video, I'm gonna break it down and make it simple. Let's go. To learn how to use drummer or any of the other drum methods here in GarageBand, check out the videos in the description. One, to add beat sequencer, go to drums and tap beat sequencer. Two, to select your drum kit, tap on the bottom left here where it says Modern 808. You can choose from any acoustic, electronic, or percussion kits. Let's go with the acoustic Bluebird. Three, you'll be given a default pattern here, but to change that pattern, you can tap on the pattern selector here and scroll through a whole bunch of different patterns and experiment by tapping on each one. To create a blank pattern, tap on the pattern selector and hit the plus button in the top left corner. Five, to create a random pattern, hit the dice button and a random pattern will be dialed in for your beat sequencer. Six, you can adjust the pattern length by tapping on this information button here and adjusting the length, anything from 16 steps all the way up to 64 steps. And you'll notice that when you go to a longer step setting, you have these at the top here to jump between the four different 16 step patterns. Seven, to adjust the length of each step, come in here to your settings, go to step length, and you can go from an eighth note all the way up to a 30 second note. Eight, you can adjust your playback mode by again tapping the info button and go to playback mode. You can go forward, reverse, ping pong, or random. Let's show you each of these. Forward, not surprisingly, goes forward. If we select reverse, it goes backwards. Ping pong mode will go forwards and then backwards. And finally, random, you guessed it, is completely random. Nine, you can add swing to your beat by tapping the info button, going to swing and choosing an eighth note or a sixteenth note, light or heavy. Let's take a listen. Ten, to reset your pattern, tap on the info button and hit the reset pattern button, hit reset and everything goes back to the start. 11, there are five different view modes in the bottom right corner here. The default is step on or off. 12, to add steps, we simply tap on the kit piece that we want to add a step to and then tap to add more steps to create our own custom beat. And to remove a step, simply tap on the step again. 13, we can add additional kit pieces by scrolling up over here on the left. Make sure you're tapping directly on the kit pieces, not out here, or you'll add steps, and then hitting the plus button and choosing from an additional kit piece. 14, there are row settings if you tap on one of your kit pieces where you can delete and make other changes here that are a little beyond this video, but feel free to experiment. 15, you've seen me using it already, but the on-off button will start and stop your beat sequencer. On. And off. 16, velocity view is the next one we have here where you can adjust the velocity of each individual step of your sequence. 17, note repeat mode. If you go to note repeat mode, what we can do is actually tap and hold and drag up or down to add additional notes in for each hit. Let's add some additional notes there and go to two on this one and take a listen. 18 is chance view. With this one, we can tap and hold and determine how frequently or infrequently each step will actually trigger. So if we make this crash symbol trigger only 50% of the time and then play our beat. Sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. 19, loop start end view. If you've got patterns that you know are gonna be hitting the same spot every time, we can adjust the start and the end so you get something like this. 20, to record a pattern in, we simply hit the record button. 21, we can actually edit these drums just like we edit any other drums. And if you wanna learn more about drum editing here in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description. There you have it, the beat sequence are not as complicated as you may have thought and a lot of fun to use. Check out the other videos all about creating drums in GarageBand down in the description and I'll see you next time.